In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to burn down your house or your bar with a flaming Dr. Pepper shot. Ooh, that is strong. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to another edition of Making You a Bartending Pro. I'm Jason. Okay, so today we're gonna make the most fun and probably not very preferred shooter for your boss, the Flaming Dr. Pepper. Now this is a shot that's a lot of fun, but you gotta be careful obviously because you don't wanna burn the damn place down, either your house or the bar that you're working at. So you gotta be careful, right? You need to make sure that you're even allowed to do this. If you want to go ahead and make this drink, you need a couple of things. You need an amaretto liqueur. I prefer the little Di Sereno here. You need an overproofed rum, which is generally over 100 proof. The higher the proof, the better it will burn. Just a generic 151 proof Potters is what I have here. They need a light beer of your choice, just a light generic, either like Pilsner or Lager, I would recommend. Something that just has very little flavor because really what we're trying to do with the beer is just get a little carbonation. We don't want any flavor. Flavor is gonna come from this. And then you need a pint glass or a larger glass and a shot glass that's at least small enough to fit inside your other larger glass. So generally in most bars, you're gonna have a pint glass and then like a shot glass of some sort. And then of course you need some fuego, a little fire that you can light this stuff on fire with. Basically what we're doing is the amaretto is getting a little bit of burn and you're putting it in a glass that has some carbonation and when you chug it, it sort of tastes like Dr. Pepper, right? So first thing we're gonna do is take a shot glass. I'm gonna make this a little over an ounce. So I'll do about, about an ounce-ish or so, right, of our amaretto. Then we're gonna put a little bit of our overproofed rum on top. And you wanna kind of pour this slowly so that it sort of stays on top. It's gonna naturally do it anyway, but you don't need a lot. Maybe a quarter of an ounce or less. Okay, now we need to open our beer. So this is just some generic lager that I like to drink all the time. And then you're gonna put about four ounces. You know, the more you put in this, the more you're gonna have to chug. I'm going to just put this at about four ounces. So we're gonna dump our beer in here. And again, just kind of a generic beer that doesn't have a lot of flavor. You don't wanna use like an IPA or um, a stout or anything that's gonna have a whole lot of flavor to it. Just because really all we're trying to do is get some bubbly. Okay, then we'll take our shot. We're gonna light this on fire. Now I'm gonna turn off the lights to see if I can show you this better. There we go, much better. See that thing burning? All right, so you can see that's actually flaming. Try to do it quickly so that this doesn't get too hot. What you wanna do is you wanna blow it out first. All right, so. Woo, it's kinda sizzling a little bit. That was getting a little hot. And then you drop it in there. Kinda wanna be careful, slide it along the side of the glass so it doesn't splash too much. You don't want it to burn too long because that shot glass will get hot and then somebody will grab it and go like, ah! And then there's like oof, flames all up the side of the wall. And that's how you burn your bar or your house or your friend's face off and down. And that's bad. Once you've lit it, let it burn a little bit, show everybody around because it's really cool, drop it in there and then bottoms up. Delicious. You kind of got to stretch your mind a little bit to get to Dr. Pepper. It's that, that amaretto kind of slightly burned amaretto flavor is what gives it that Dr. Pepper-ness to it. But a lot of fun, very cool, great party trick, and probably not a great shot for your bar if you're working. Double check, I used to work at a place that had like kind of a straw hut sort of a thing because we were on the beach it was sort of a little straw hut like above the bar and we used to do these all the time kind of like for some of our locals or at the end of the night when we were just um, hanging out with some friends I never really checked with our boss and then one time our boss saw what we were doing and he freaked out had a heart attack as you can imagine like you understand if that got on there and that thing and this whole thing so 
generally, you probably are not gonna wanna be able to do this in a public bar. So ask your managers and boss first. But there you go, that is the Flaming Dr. Pepper. So if you've had this one yourself and you'd like to share any cool stories, uh, if you've burned anything down and you have some warnings for people, please feel free to share it in the comments below. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you can get notifications anytime I have new videos coming out. And if you like this video, please help me spread the word as that would be the ultimate compliment to me. If you want to support this channel directly, you can go over to patreon.com forward slash bartending pro. Otherwise, that's it for this episode. Please be careful if you're lighting anything on fire. All right, I'm Jason. This has been making you a bartending pro. Be careful with this one. I'll see you soon on the next episode. Take care. Cheers.